What's up guys? Y'all know what day it is just by this big old Matco truck that you see. So let's take a look and see what Matco Michael's got. You guys, come on. Well, it's almost time for a day off. It's almost time. It's almost the weekend and I'm ready. I'm bad ready. I stay ready though. Like Monday morning at about 8.05, I'm ready for yeah. a day off already. And when I when I was a service manager, I, I don't guess I did it so much as a, a tech, but when I was a service manager, I was always waking up on Monday wishing it was Friday evening. And I thought it was, I was like, all right, if you're doing that, you probably don't like the job you're doing. Um, you know, what I don't my, think it's that no more. It ain't. You know what my deal is? I just like to sit on the couch. Yeah, I found like, that, honestly, I, I, I think do. That's what I found out. That it's not. It wasn't the job. Um, it's just I like being at home. People like to go and travel and see places and this and that. I like to put my butt on my couch and my feet on my coffee table and watch my television. I'll that's see three kids. I'll send them. Then you won't get to sit on the couch. I don't know. I like to be hey, at home. Thankfully, all of ours is is big now, so <laughs> it's it's good. Like Andrew, he just got settled in at the Air Force Base in Las Vegas, so Frankie is coming your way. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the girls, because this is what I've learned. Girls is way easier when they're little than they are boys. But now, 12, well, not really 12, 14, 15, 16, I would trade girls for a whole house full of baby boys at that point. <laughs> uh, uh, we got a 10 year old that I would rather have three or four of my little boys and her attitude. Oh, just wait. <laughs> when she hits. 15 that's when like like she pulls the cape out of the closet and puts it on at that point <laughs> it's it's coming just wait i got uh we got two girls and they try my patience so much ain't it fun though <laughs> so this is a six point mini file set yeah i've been having a lot six piece of not six point well, yeah. That's, are you ready for a day off? Man, I'm telling you. It's been that long. I don't know why I said six point. I was like, 6.5? I've never seen one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, scratch that. Six piece. Uh, I can't talk half the time, but uh, I've been having a lot of people asking about files. Right. Um, and they don't, they won't want just one type of file. They want different type. They want to do different stuff with it. Um, and I finally found these. I don't know what took me so long, but um, I. I like the handles on them. I like yep. the files. Um, I got a pick set with those same handles in it, and I don't know how old they are, but man, they're comfortable. That's that's what I was about to say. It has a good spot here for my thumb and my finger to, to rest on. Um, usually, if you're filing something, it's probably not good. But hey, at least at least be comfortable, right? <laughs> that's right. The ones that's just got the the metal spot sticking out, man, I stab myself with those so many yep. times. Um, but I like the handle design. I like the tray they're in. I like everything about it. So yeah. uh, I saw uh, on a, a video a couple of weeks ago where somebody said to put uh, spray foam behind mm -hmm. the... Yeah, and it keeps the plastic from busting. That makes so much sense. And I don't yeah. know why I didn't think about it before, but that makes a lot of sense. Um, I'm too dumb to do that. When my plastic bust, I just take the crap out and throw it in a drawer. Then you can't ever find it because it gets buried and everything else. <laughs> yeah, um, I know. I know how that feels. I've done the same thing. But um, so if you're looking for files, that's that's a good good option there. Um, I don't know. I don't know what all you would use the file for. There's several different styles, but um, if, at least if you got a file, you got to be in that position have something comfortable be comfortable every time i've ever had a file uh i cussed a lot before it and a lot during it <laughs> yeah. so something went wrong in that process yeah. uh, i know I, I had an axle somebody was towing uh 
towing some kind of vehicle and that they had to disconnect the axle uh, because it was all wheel drive and they tied it up with um, a bungee cord and of course it still spun and it burnt through the bungee cord and it fell out and it messed up the actual um, splines, splines inside the transmission. Start, yeah. And then he had to file. Man, it took forever. I had to take the transmission out and take a hammer and beat on the drive shaft. We were replacing the drive shaft anyway. Of course, they're weighted and you know it was bent all the heck. It would have never been um, right. in weight, but um, we finally beat that thing out and it had messed them splines up and yeah, these would have been so much better than the fall I had. I had some that my grandpa had that he probably got in the 60s. And it just, it, I mean, they, they worked. It's just, it wasn't comfortable. They wouldn't, you know, it's like a tap and die set. You don't have to have it. But if I have a tap and die set, I want yeah. one like that one over there. It's got the ratcheting thing so yep. that I'm not trying to fight it around. <laughs> just sit there and ratchet it. So, Well, like with, you know, using a tap, I love those tap sockets. That's my favorite thing. Yeah. Like I like to use my Matco ratchet with those tap sockets. So yeah, we have uh, we have several different styles of, of tap sockets, but we have these. Um, but there's also the the kind that go to the different sizes. Yep, that's the ones that I like right there. We have these now. This adjustable. Mm -hmm. So this one goes up so high, and then you step up to this one here. Because the guys that do much work on six O's and six sevens knows what I'm talking about. You always gonna have one of those valve cover bolts that's <laughs> going to strip. Or yeah. when you get ready to take it apart, it's already stripped. So you gotta tap it out, helicoil it, and then hope that it stays in there so it don't leak. But there's no telling. I think I've, yeah, I know I've done a video on the six O's on how to you know, re-thread a, a 6 o valve cover because it's, I don't know how, we've done a bunch of them, I'll put it that way. Yeah, uh, it's always nice to find a, a strip bolt um, during doing something that you didn't do. Mm -hmm. Like it's bad enough when you do it, but when yeah. somebody else does it. That, You're having to fix somebody else's screw up yeah. on your time. I know shops that actually charge more if somebody tries to work on it before them and they mess something up, they charge more. <sighs> Shit, I'd be able to retire. I'd buy this <laughs> truck, so I'd, I'd uh, just buy this truck right around with you. I don't know if they, because <laughs> that's how that's how I get all my jobs. Yeah. Well, I carried it over to so and so, and they, uh, they yeah. I don't know what they done with it. I don't I don't know if they do it to everybody or if they do it just to the ones that they're trying to say, look, we we've done this for you four or five times. I don't know mm -hmm. if they can make it work doing that. So be it. Um, but yeah, tap sockets are nice. Um, that's along the lines of if if it's already screwed up and I gotta fix it at least fix it in comfort right that's it um i can know a couple times that i could have had those adjustable ones and i wouldn't have had to have because there's been times to where the actual t-handle that they used to come with would be too long yep, and i'd have to take fit. a little small adjustable wrench and sit there and i think we've all did that a time or two that's why i like those tap sockets so much and if you got like the you know the matco you can usually use like the quarter inch yeah body three eighths head it's got a small enough swing arc because it's never, ever going to be that valve cover bolt that's on the front that's easy to get to. No. It's always the one that's in the back that they've already ripped the insulation and half the insulation's <laughs> covering the valve cover bolt to start yeah. with. So. Yeah, that's that's the ones where you find the wiring harness is not put back right and it's just or like, pinched or in the valve cover like mashed down. The yeah, valve cover. man, I've seen some I've seen some stuff, man. I've seen people fix stuff or try to fix stuff, but they try to fix it after they screwed it up. Yeah. But rather than fix it right, um, hacks. Yeah, you know it's like really. Um, I've seen so much silicone on the outside of stuff. And it's like you do realize that's temporary. Like you need to take that off and put it yep. where it goes. You know, that's kind of like trying to stop a water leak by just putting a piece of tape over it. Um, <laughs> hey, that's what you flex seal. I watched uh, that commercial. I seen him take the boat with a screen bottom. I've never tried. <laughs> I've never tried flex seal, but I can tell you, you cannot take Scotch tape and put it over a hole and it fix it. And I believe that's what some people try to do on cars. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You know, I've seen. Uh, 
I've seen some pretty bad stuff, and I think everybody has. Well, I worked on a windshield washer motor. What, what did we have the ice? Two, what, three weeks ago? Been a, been a little bit, yeah. It was the Monday we come back after the ice storm. It had froze. Anyway, it busted their, busted their line, and they took silicone and tried to silicone the plastic <laughs> tubing for... What's your washer fluid? And you know how that is. You got to yeah. pull the cowl off. And I was like, yeah, that's not going to work. Like they took and smeared silicone through the cowl onto the hose thinking that was going to fix it. I think about the worst I ever saw is somebody brought um, a car up. They had tried to do brakes themselves and it didn't work out right. A, they had the pads on backwards. Mm -hmm. um, I've but, seen that several times. But worse than that, they had lost the caliper bolt. Uh oh. And they use zip ties to hold it. And <laughs> I mean, they did have one caliper bolt in it. Um, I bet that but worked the, out the, real well. The top bolt was zip ties. <laughs> it had a couple of zip ties on there, but um, the bad part about it is they did not tell us they lost the bolt. That wasn't their complaint. It wasn't, hey, I lost my bolt. I need to order one. It was, hey, I did my brakes last week. And it's been scrubbing, and I no. think my brake pads are bad. Can y'all resurface them? And in my head, I'm like, well, I've, you know, I, I have took a grinder and kind of resurfaced brake pads before, but that's not normally what the brake yeah. noise is. No, they're pretty cheap. I'm not going to do that. And, um, yeah, when I took the wheel <laughs> off and, you know... Like, walk up there to the parts manager, I need another zip tie for this caliper, please. <laughs> well, you know, and what stunned me more is when I, I of course, I got my shop foreman involved. Um, but when I got him over there and we looked at it, and then we realized, oh, crap, the pads are on backwards as well. Um, we go up there and we're like, okay, here's your here's your price list. You know, you got a bolt because you're missing the bolt. Uh, we're going to recommend new pads because it's been grinding on the back of the, the pad and you're never, you're always yep. going to have some noise. <laughs> Um, and we recommend trying to turn this rotor out. It may or may not be hurt bad enough. Um, we don't know until we try. Uh, and the question is, why do I need a bolt? Well, because you got zip ties holding it. Well, they were working. I'm not doing it if yeah, I Yeah, we're not going to do that today, sir. <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm not putting zip ties back if, you know. Uh, That's kind of like the car dealer here that uh, we've done a lot of work for him. And obviously he wants to save money. But he had a passenger side caliper that was bad. I've got a used one. I'll bring it to you. Well, it fit, but it was for the driver's side. So, yeah. of course, the bleeder screws in the wrong spot. Well, just put it on there. It'll work, won't it? I was like, no. Nah. And then he wanted to fuss a little bit. I said, let me tell you something. I said, let's, let's just get this out and open. We don't do that kind of stuff here. If that's what you're looking for, come get your junk and haul it somewhere else. We're not leaving here with the wrong caliper on the wrong side. Yeah. And it was a $27, $30 caliper. I mean, it wasn't like it was like a F-350 where he's going to spend a couple hundred dollars. Yeah. This was like a 99 Toyota Corolla. Oh, well, the parts so house are begging you to yeah, get like, it. Yeah, <laughs> like they had it in stock at Napa, like four in stock. Yeah, come get it. We'll sell it to you at 20 bucks a piece. It ain't like it was a hard, you know, and it wasn't expensive. It was less than 40 bucks for the caliper. You would be surprised how many people don't know how the importance of that set screw like i've i've had several times where people's like i got spongy brakes and it's like yeah yeah you do it's like well wow well your caliper's upside down mm -hmm. oh no, yeah. it's like oh it shouldn't matter it'll it won't it still squirt the air out well that but, yeah no, well, not really uh, <laughs> yeah uh that's not right um but you know i argued with a guy at a local parts store when I was um, still a tech, they sent me a uh, master cylinder, and they had done sent me one. They sent me the first one, and when it got there, you could tell that the, whoever put the lines in had cross threaded them. I'm like, no, oh, I'm not even going to yeah. try this. And That's going to come back on you. Yeah, at they're that like, point. all right, well we got another one. Well, they sent it to me, and I checked the depth of the pin to the booster. It was off. It was way off. And I'm like, no, this one's not going to work. You know, I, I can't. And I, don't, I don't have any adjustment. Um, I adjusted it as much as I could. There's nothing that I can do. Well, that doesn't matter. What? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir, it does. <laughs> and But we argued and argued. And finally, I went somewhere else. But 
The next thing I was going to show, we have this here. Everybody seems to like the clothing. Everybody um, likes it. You know why? Because it's rare. <laughs> like, you you know, the Snap-on truck's full of their kind of clothing. The Matco stuff is way more rare. So. Yeah. Like, I've uh, had way more compliments on that same jacket that I'm wearing, or that you're wearing right now, and the black Matco jacket. Yeah. Nobody has said, man, that's a good-looking Snap-on shirt or a good looking snap on jacket, where'd you get that at? It's always when I wear the Matco stuff out. Well, and to be honest, we, um, we fell short on the hoodies. Or oh, I think we fell short on the hoodies. I did not like the hoodies this year. I'm burnt out on the skull design. Mm -hmm. um, if that's your thing, then you thought we knocked it out of the park. That's great. But, <laughs> like, I like that. But, that right there yeah. is clean, classic. It's awesome looking. Between, like, you could wear that on date night. You yeah, know? between between this yep. uh this jacket or our black jacket i really think i probably just made everybody deaf but <laughs> between these uh i like these a whole lot better um you, you do see a lot of snap on jackets mm -hmm. and stuff out there but uh i really like and i think it's mainly because i don't know what size to order i'd have a whole rack of clothes if i knew what size to order but as soon as i ordered a large everybody would be an extra large man that thing is nice right there yeah i like the feel of it is it a is it just on the front, nothing on the back? Uh, I don't think nothing's on the back, nope. That's perfect. Yeah. You know, and and, and with the jackets, you can kind of put stuff on the back and you can go more yep. into it. Um, but you can you can go overboard real quick. Like, like you said, you can go out on a date night with this. Man, um, that's clean looking, you know? That's like Patagonia style. I mean, <laughs> that's what they need to go after. Uh, she's gonna pull out another one. This is another option that they have. Uh, yeah, that's so, good too. I like that just that clean, just classic simple. logo yeah. like that. So what are those uh, gray pullovers? What are they running? Or, 85. Those are nice, so, man. I like those. Uh, they're nice. I mean, I don't, really nice. I don't personally have one, but I don't go nowhere. We talked about that at the beginning of the video. I ain't got a toolbox. I ain't got a pullover. I ain't got, you, you got it. You know what oh, the deal you, is? You just won't pull it out of your inventory. Well, yeah. Well, That's what you need to do for his birthday and Christmas and all that. Just come out here and go shopping. Like, <laughs> there you go. Well, she did buy me a... Um, Maybe you can get an employee discount. I bet. I bet. <laughs> uh, she did buy me a Streamlight, um, one of the bigger Streamlights. Yeah. Because um, I've been... I like I like the blue ones a lot mm -hmm. when they come out with that that's, blue. That's the one I got the blue one. So I like. I don't it know a lot. why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. But yep. yeah, I liked it a lot. So. Well, those are good. Whoever ordered them, I'm I'm assuming it was her that probably picked them out. Yeah, yeah. they have a new. Ask your dealer. They have a new. Um, you need to leave her in charge of ordering all the. Let's, what would you call that? Apparel and accessories and novelty. Oh items. yeah, she's in charge of that. I, I don't, I don't do any of that. They she's have doing a, good. They have a new apparel book out. It doesn't have everything in it, but you can get with your distributor. Um, you can also go onto um, the Michael Tools website and go under. They have actually an apparel site that you can go under uh, and see all the different clothes. Okay. Um, now remember, we're used to selling tools, so. We may be a little high on the clothes just because we're not used to the clothes market. But Well, we're on the camera audio. I don't know how much we got or how much we didn't, <laughs> but my battery went dead on my audio. So we're going to make the best we can out of it with this video. <laughs> yeah, there might be a couple. It may be like a 30 second video. It may be a 10 minute video. I don't know, but my battery's run dead and I apologize to you guys, <laughs> especially Michael. Well. <laughs> I had no idea it was off. That's okay. Uh, Batteries is rough. No, the school's different. They, I don't know if you heard it or not. We were talking about school. The school's a lot different. But, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm just going to sell tools, I guess. Yep, me too. All right, guys. Like always, thank y'all for watching. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes. And like always, if you're not subscribed, click the button. It's free. Just click that button. You guys have a great week. Catch you later.